everyone this is for a swap and i made uh the box mitten from eileen hall's dye and then um i covered the paper i co covered the mittens with paper but this one i decided to leave it empty and um i have a process of how i embellished everything it contains about six row sets I told my daughter to be quiet. She's making noise. That's her. Oh my gosh. I told her to be quiet. But anyways, so the next the next video would be No Brea, please don't <laughs> Yeah, that's my daughter. So the next video would be just me quiet. No, just kidding. Um me in the process of embellishing this so you'd see how I embellish. It's just pretty straightforward, but yeah. And then oopsie. And then I covered the side also because uh the I think the size was a little off and I ran out of paper so I had some um I had to glue together, piece together paper. But anyways, so okay. Uh, this is my video. Thanks so much for stopping by and for watching. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I still have an ongoing giveaway challenge. So please enter if you can. Alright, thank you. Bye. Brea, say bye. Oh, now bye. she's quiet. Hi, everyone. I used uh, the part where the opaque glitter acrylic paint that I used is showing as opposed to the red um, paper that I used and I'm just sticking some of the bases for this and I put the hay Santa chipboard on it it didn't seem to stick in the beginning so I had to reinforce it with glue and then I test I like testing out um, items to put as decoration prior to actually committing myself to so I'm like trying to see will this work well how will I position it so that's how I did it and then I tried several word stickers and didn't seem to fit right but that one so magical seemed quite appropriate so that's what I used and also I noticed in this collection um, there wasn't a lot of sentiments or word stickers so I had to improvise a lot and the hat if you noticed um, I stuck a hat on the Hey Santa chipboard that's a felt hat with mini pom-poms from Michael's they had that collection so I got that recently and then I also decorated the side of the box because uh, when I cut the the mittens I pieced together several pages because it's like 6 by 13 so and I only had a 12 by 12 and oh 6 by 12 I cut it in half so but it looks like it went well and this is for a swab I'm doing um, a hay Santa swab and um, it'll be in a medium size USPS box so that's kind of exciting and I hope my swab partner would like what I'm making so I used um, the star from the thickers of the Hey Santa collection and that's me reinforcing the chipboard with glue gun because it kept on racing so and those are the rosettes that I'll be using I like to have everything when I'm decorating I like everything on my desk so um, pardon the mess but um, uh, that's how I, I just work so there you have it it'll contain the box the mitten box will contain about five or six rosettes i'm trying to make uh, everything fit i think the smaller one would yep and uh also when i ship this i'll i'll protect it by by the sealant that 
Tony of Craft Porch. Actually, I saw her do that um, in one of her hauls and she got like the, um, the heat censored. But there you have it, the mittens, the Hay Santa mitten box.